where are you? You just appeared on this ladder. You can't look back down. It's impossible. You cannot travel back from where you are. Your first atmosphere that your brain captures. One hand in front of the other, you learn to use your hands. They will help you climb. That's a main tool. You learn to stand and walk. Your legs that help you climb are getting stronger with every step you take. You look up and try to see where this ladder leads, but you can't. There is a fog, and every time you get closer to it, the fog floats upwards and reveals new things to your body and vision. Maybe it's an obstacle that will take time to think and train to overcome this obstacle. Maybe it's a feeling that your eyes cannot see. It's invisible, but the feeling will show you things. Your soul and brain will see this feeling and might change your view of life. As you overcome one or another, or even both, you relax a little and continue to climb. You might get to thinking that you can use this area and the things in it to create your own place in this world. Your space is created by the imagination that will ooze out of your head at a fast pace. You say you live in this world you created, but that is incorrect. The main ladder is supporting the foundation of your world. If the ladder wasn't there, then you would be doomed. The climb is still on, but you notice the air around you feels more tight. Books and words rain from the fog and splash into you. Some is instant absorption. Some takes a bit longer, but some just hurts and doesn't get absorbed. You try to hide in the world you've made, but when you climb forwards, you left some of the foundation behind, and you can't get it back no matter how hard you try. You add more to the world with parts that consists of the things you absorb in your mind. It isn't the same, but it's all you got. After keeping your space from falling, you keep going after things clear up and, and later notice other ladders in different areas, but neither are touching your ladder. Other people are climbing. Some might be too high to notice you. They either gotten stronger from pain during their climb in the past, their ladder may also have more steps to power through, or they just jumped over the obstacles without never truly breaking them. Now those dark walls haunt their past. Some might be near your level, which is convenient. They probably had had, have had similar walls to break through, but still different ways of doing so. You could either climb with them or stay on your own. Think. Climbing with two is more safe than climbing alone. They can support you and help you, and you could do the same to them. If that succeed, then it is a friendship that brings your ladders closer together. Some, however, may be too low for you to save them. You could hear their screams. You can observe their silent cries, if you're willing. It's impossible to climb back down, remember, but you can stretch your arm down and lend them a little of your strength and mind. It's up to you, though. They might not know this person. This person might, this person might have got on your bad side in the past. Maybe this person even cracked your ladder in an area. But if you know how that feels yourself, then there's a good chance you will sacrifice your time to help this person out. You could save a life without even knowing it. You would get reward in an experience, and maybe a feeling. Perhaps even a surprise. It's up to the builder. As you climb, maybe you combine your own world with a friend's, or even that person you saved. Don't get too at attached to your world, though. When you climb higher, eventually the weather will break your world. When that does, that does happen, you either get a huge crack or many small cracks in your heart. Maybe even scars on your brain that have dug inside and caused darkness from the atmosphere to seep into the cracks and cuts of heart and brain. This leads to the coldness of your soul and perhaps a shivery panic that also causes a new scar. Mental scar first, physical scar later. The darkness that, the darkness that now made a home inside of you is making you think things you don't want to do causing things you didn't want to cause. The pieces of your, of your lost world are with you. Will you keep them is up to you. Friend, remember you have a friend, hopefully at this point, because it's easier to cry on your friend's shoulders rather than below freezing. Don't be ashamed of leaking tears. Maybe some darkness will leak out and pain will be relieved. 
That's better than, s than spilling your darkness out from your arm or leg by the blade. It's less painful to leak out pain from your tears rather than to cut into your soul's home to spill its pain. That might even lead to more darkness too. Friend, stranger, enemy, the person that are way ahead of you don't have as much strength and experience as you. You might find out that you will catch up to them because when they are dealing with similar things, you already know how to deal with it in a healthy manner. Because not all, not all your mind was corrupted by darkness. You notice, through all of this, you were holding on to your ladder. You may feel like you let go, but you truly haven't. Because your conscience knows to stay alive and complete the climb is the biggest prize the Builder will give to you. It's time to climb again. We all have no idea what the past, what's past the fog that blocks our future. But what fun would that be? Some say life isn't a game, but in games there are obstacles, atmospheres, weaknesses, and strength. Just like life. Be calm. Continue your climb and don't go. Uh, sorry. Continue your climb and don't let go. God, builder of all the ladders, will give you a home for your soul when you reach the top. Climb on.